All you want to do is sleep. A bunch of your monkey friends have taken over your room for a pajama party. Ready to get them out of your room? Let's learn how to play to Money Monkeys! <laughs> Welcome to How to Play. I'm Parker. And I'm Brick. Today we'll learn a game for younger kids, Too Many Monkeys. If you're new here, we love teaching fun family games. So hit the subscribe button and click that bell to get notified when new videos are released. And make sure to stay to the end. We will share some of our customers that make this game even more fun. First, let's learn more about the game. This is a card game for two to six players. Games are 10 to 20 minutes long. It's best for kids three to eight years old. And it can be a fun way to learn how to count. For younger kids, we rate this game a seven out of 10. Older kids and parents probably won't play it by themselves, but they can still have fun playing it with younger kids. So we give it a six for our family rating. You can find even more details in our full review at weplaytolearn.com, linked in the description below. But right now, let's find out how to play. Setup is really easy. Shuffle the whole deck of cards. Then deal six cards face down to each player. Put the rest of the cards in the middle of the table for the draw pile. Leave a spot next to it for discard pile two. Then each player should line up their six cards in front of them. Leave them face down. Do not look at the front of the cards. And now I'm ready to play! Too Many Monkeys is played in multiple rounds. At the start of the first round, all players will have six cards in front of them. But each time a player wins a round, they get to start the next round with one less card. To win the whole game, a player needs to win a round they start with only one card. Just know that using these official rules, games can actually take a while to play, but we have some tips at the end that will make the game quicker. So how do we play the game? First, we'll talk about the rules for each turn. Then we'll go over some of the special cards you might get. And last, we'll show you how to start a new round. To win the round, you need to replace all the face down cards in front of you with the number card that matches the spot. So if you have six cards in front of you, you will need to get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 to win the round. Here's how you get those cards. On your turn, you can either take the top card from the draw pile or take the top card from the discard pile if it's a number you need. If the card you get is a number card that you already have face up in front of you, discard it, then your turn is done and the next player goes. But if it's a number card that you don't have face up in front of you, put the new card face up in that number spot and look at the card that was already there. If that one is also a number card, do the same thing again. Discard it and end your turn if you already have that number. But swap it with a face down card if you don't have that number. As long as you keep getting numbers that you don't already have, you can keep going and going. But there aren't only number cards in the deck. There are six kinds of special cards you might get too. These special cards are Wild Monkey, Giraffe, Elephant, Raccoon, Do Not Disturb, and Hello, My Name is Skip. If you draw a flip over a special card on your turn, here's what you'll do. If you get a Wild Monkey, it's a wild card and can be any number you want, and it can even change numbers. For example, if you already used it as a number one, but then draw the number one card, swap them, and use the wild monkey as any other number you need. If you get a raccoon card, discard it and look through the discard pile for any number you need. If you can't find a number you need, your turn is done. But if you do find one, play it and keep going with your turn. And do not forget, the raccoon only can take number cards. If you get an elephant or giraffe card, discard it and your turn is done. Then we have the do not disturb card. If you get this one, you can use it to pick any face up card in another player's row and turn it back face down. 
After that, your turn is done. If you get the Hello My Name is Skip code, you can make another player skip their next turn. Put it in front of the player you want to skip, and then your turn is done. When it would have been that player's turn, they discard the skip card instead of playing. The player who can make the best monkey noise gets to start the game. Then, take turns going clockwise around the table. Draw and play cards until a player has all of their cards face up. That player is the winner of the round. To start the next round, shuffle all the cards back together. Then, deal cards face down to each player again. But, the winner of the last round will get one less card than they had before. So after the first round, that round's winner will only have five cards in front of them and everyone else will still have six. First round winner will only need to get one through five in the next round. They won't need the number six card anymore. Eventually, players will start a round with only one card in front of them. The game ends when a player that started the round with only one card gets a number one or a wild monkey. That player wins the round and the whole game. At the start of the video, we promised to share our custom rules that make this game even more fun. Three of these are different ways to make the game shorter. The easiest way is to have everyone start with less than six cards. This does make the game shorter, but also means higher numbers will end your turn from the very start. The second way is to have someone win the game when they win a round they started with three cards instead of one. This way, the higher numbers are still used and it's more like a normal game. But the third way to shorten the game might be the most fun. Here, all players start each round with one less card than the round before. And the winner of the last round gets to start with two less. To win the game though, you still need to get a number one or wild card on your last round. Our last custom rule is a simple one. When playing with a young player, we take out or ignore the Do Not Disturb and Hello My Name is Skip cards. These ones can cause a lot of fight with little kids. Don't worry if you forget some of our custom rules when you go to play the game. They are all included in the full review on our website. It also answers helpful questions and shares other games like this one. That review is linked below. And make sure to click on our reviews page where you can find ideas for other great games. There you'll see a list you can sort using 10 different categories, including our age-based ratings, number of players, and more. So check us out at WePlayToLearn.com or jump into another of our How to Play videos here. We'll see you next time on How to Play by We Play to Learn. Bye! Bye. <laughs>